So now let's see how we can work around with keyframe handle type inside of Blender. So in order to work around with keyframe handle type, you can go around and then first of all, you have to add in a bit of animation. So I'm going to go around over here and then I'm going to uh, expand the timeline. I'm going to turn on auto keying right here. So now I'm just going to set the start point right here. So a keyframe is added and I'm going to move this right here and move this forward just like this. And then over here, I'm going to move this backward over here as well. And this is what you have. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around over here onto uh, the view menu right here on the option. And then I'm going to click on the graph editor. And right now you can see that this is what you see. So you can see that the green um, line right here is the Y location. And right now you can see that it's kind of curvy right here. So I'm just going to go around and hold control right here to resize this out and use the middle mouse button to see how it actually looks like right here. So this is what you have. So if I were to play this, you can see that uh, there's a smooth motion going on in between those keyframes. If you want to change around the keyframe handle type, then you can go around right here and then select out the keyframes right here. So I'm just going to go around and select uh, these uh, these object right here. I can hide everything else right here. Let me just press control Z. I'm just going to go around and work around with the Y location. So let me just select this right here and then Y location. This is what you have. So you can see that this is what you have right here. So now what you can do is that you can go around over here, select this. And then if I were to right click, you can see that I can change the handle type. So I can change this around into free. And once I do that, you don't see any change right here, but I can now individually change out the handle for each of these um, sides, as you can see right here. So if I were to play this, you can see that now over here, there's a change in motion. That, that is because of the change in handle type that I have. I can go around over here. I can right click. I can change the handle type into aligned. And what happens is that it is more aligned as you can see right here. Let me just press control Z. I'm just going to select out this one and align this out. And you can see that the left and right, they relate out together for creating a smooth motion right here. As you can see, you can also go around over here, change the handle type over here into vector. And once you do that, what happens is that there's a smooth motion uh, right here, but there is no easing and then easing out. It's kind of like robotic or traditional animation. You can also go to automatic. In this case, it'll handle it out itself, as you can see. Uh, and then over here at the end, you can go around into auto clamp over here as well. So according to that, you can see that the the way the um, curve actually changes out um, differs. So that is how you can go around and change around the keyframe handle type so that it's easier to manage out the graph and then get the animation type that you want for the motion. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.